Welcome to our recording of our live session uh, of the Master and Cross Section Open Road Designer Sessions. This is part one. So according to the workbook which I shared with you, uh, we start with the empty seed file, empty one, and we are referencing in our data what we want to see in our sections. So all the 3D information which you have, and the only issue is we, uh, we don't have the 3D model available then. So the easiest way is to make the terrain model active. So you can split your views in two parts. So left side 2D, right side 3D. So keep your mouse, press your mouse and hold it. Um, so now you're going to um, create these sections. Uh, there's one tool which we call the name boundaries. So you can do plant profile and sections. You can check your seeds. That's also what we are going to do in part three, how to build your own seeds for the drawings. So like A1. So basically you just tell them um, here where to start, where to end. Uh, you can type in the value if you want um, for specific locations. You can do a range of sections or you can have only one. Um, it's up to you. Uh, so here we're going to generate the sections, um, so the name boundaries first, um, like in the workbook which you have. Um, if you don't have the workbook, please let me know. Um, so here on the right side, you've got the named boundaries. So I haven't chosen to generate the drawings, just the name boundaries. Uh, you can adjust them. So in the little icon there, you can go back to all the name boundaries, the groups which you have created basically. So here you've got the group, you can rename them. All these sections are there. So what you can do now, if you want, you can generate the drawings. So what you see like in left uh, below, there are no drawings. So right click and you can generate all the drawings. You could also have done it once, you know, when you were doing it, but here you have the, um, the example to do it in, in steps. Um, so what you see is the sheet, <clears throat> uh, the title block, you can use your own. So that's what we'll do in part three. Um, <clears throat> it's creating a drawing model and a sheet model. So there's a composition of drawings on a sheet and that's what we are seeing right here. So the title block, including all the, sh the references back to the drawings, um, which are a live cut from the 3D model. Um, so you can use your own annotations. That's what we will do in part two, how to build your own annotations. You can remove the annotations uh, for all the drawing models. So if you do the updating of the drawing models, these sheets will be updated directly as well. So you can give it a try. Uh, it's well explained in the workbook. Um, <clears throat> so it goes pretty fast. Um, they improved the, uh, the speed of the processing of the cross sections. So here are all the sections. So the only thing is um, our recommendation is not to do it in the same file as your 3D models. Uh, use a new empty one and referencing in the 3D data and then create the sections. Um, that's one option. So the other option <clears throat> is to, um, to create from here, you can also push it into a empty new um, uh, drawing, so a, a new DGN file. So that's what we will do now, All right next. Um, so you can create your sections. Let's say we are put it in a different group. So you've got still the groups in this file, but it will be pushed into a different DGN. So not inside of this one. So you turn on create drawings. It's not necessary, you can do it on a later stage. But the important one is create drawing and turn on the option of um, that you want to push it into another DGN. So it will create the drawings for you. You can include the, the annotation groups here. So again, that's what we will do um, uh, uh, in part two. And now it will be processing, it's processing um, and opening the last generated cross section in the DGN file. That's what it is doing. Um, <clears throat> so you've got the option. You can do it in like in this file, in your reference file, uh, where you reference all the data in, or you can push it all into a new empty one. 
so it's opening it's opening the last one um, so here in the top down you've got the drawing model and the sheet model only um, so you can open the other ones if you want you can check it here I will open the folder so it has generated all the drawings and you can go and open it the interesting one here is when you zoom in it has also the cut of the barrier so the barrier is a 3d line style and you can cut it right there so uh, everything is cut it and it's up to you how you want to see the annotations the annotation are property driven so like the name of the alignment is there it will show every name of the alignment which you have cut in the 3d model so you see the drawing model hmm. And you've got the other drawing model there are two drawings basically on this sheet it's trying to compile there are some settings as well in the configuration file how many uh, sections you want to have on one sheet so if you've got like a uh, a big bigger sheet then you can compile more so here it has calculated maximum three of them yeah, so that's the one. This is like the introduction, how to generate the sections on your sheet. Um, the next part is how to create your own annotations. And the third one is how to create your own drawing sheets, including title block. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.